Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This is going to be the last vlog that you see me before I move, um, officially move into my new apartment. So there's a lot to do. There's so much to do and there's so much to think about that I honestly feel like I'm just kind of frozen, but I'm very thankful that you're here because I've mentioned this in the past, but when I vlog, it gives me a reason to put on makeup and put on clothes and go out and do something and focus on happy things. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you for helping me have a reason to do those things. And I think it's gonna be a good day. In terms of getting ready for the day, um, I'm still in my pajamas, but I was looking through my jewelry and realizing it was time for me to switch out my earrings and my necklace. And I brought just a few little jewelry pieces with me to Texas. And I'm so glad I did, because I did not fully realize when I packed up my big jewelry box that the movers that are taking all of my boxes and big pieces of furniture uh, we'll deliver them sometime in November or December. So I could be going like six weeks without a lot of my stuff. So I brought just a couple of my favorite pieces and most of them happen to be Missouri, which is one of my favorite brands. And I actually packed this up before I knew I would be working with them in today's video. And um, they are sponsoring today's vlog because they have a huge sale happening in November. It's gonna be really exciting. I'll tell y'all more once we get closer, but I'm just gonna be showing you the couple of things that are genuinely my favorite because they're what I brought. And um, I'll also have my link down below that links to the things that are my favorites that are still currently in stock. If you're not familiar with Missouri, they're probably like the highest quality jewelry brand that I love. Their prices are still incredibly accessible um, and they're just, they stand the test of time. I have had some of these pieces for a couple years now and every one looks as good as the day I got it. And Missouri is a cool company. 75% of their employees are female. That's something I recently learned, which I think is really cool. And they have different types of jewelry. So they have 14 karat gold. They also have some jewelry that's 18 karat gold verme. So that's gonna be a little more affordable, but still completely coated in 18 karat gold. It's different than gold plated because verme has to be a certain level of thickness. Um, so it's super durable. They also have ethically sourced diamonds if you're looking for real diamond jewelry, as well as incredibly high quality ethically sourced gemstones. The ones I'm wearing right now are kind of newer. I probably got them within the last year and they are still in stock. It's the monochrome citrine hoops. These are gold for May as well. I'll show you a close up shot of them, but I love how it's like, to me, the little gemstone is placed in a, in a slightly unique setting on these hoops and I think it really elevates it. Also, sadly this necklace I don't believe is for sale anymore but I actually have a matching ring with it as well. Y'all know how much I love bees. Um, Sweet Like Honey, Proverbs 1624. I actually had a tattoo appointment to get a tiny little bee in LA and I had to cancel it because of the move, which is so sad. So I've been living in my little bee necklace instead to mourn the loss of that tattoo. But my little matching bee ring is still in stock and it's a little pinky ring and I love it so much. The honey mini ring. They actually have the honey ring in two different styles, but I love this little one. I think it makes such a cute little pinky ring and matches my necklace. And then I think I packed, yeah, I packed one other Missouri piece. These are so fun. These are the Charlotte bold hoops. Oh, a good bold hoop with something a little more, um, like simple, like a turtleneck, I think really completes an outfit and it's just very in style right now. I love this look. It has a nod to the 80s in my opinion. So these are a couple of my favorite things. Like I said, I will have that link down below that links you to all the things that I currently own that are still in stock. I have so much Missouri from over the years, um, but those are the ones that they are still currently selling and keep your eye out for the sale that is happening. It is in November and it is going to be so good. Great gifts for loved ones and then also a great gift for yourself, of course. So thank you to Missouri for sponsoring this video and for partnering with me and for making stunning things and giving me something that helps me feel beautiful right now. I've been focusing on those things and it's always fun to switch up your jewelry and be like, I feel cute today. I kind of honestly am struggling with the balance of me wanting to focus on joyful things. Uh, like I've mentioned before, that is my coping mechanism, but also me wanting to be 
honest with you guys. I never want to be ingenuine. So I'll update you a little bit more on um, how I'm really doing later in this vlog. But for now, let's focus on something joyful. My mom is actually about to go to a friend's 60th birthday and she just bought some flowers and she bought this cool dish, but it's very shallow. She's like, can you help me arrange these? It's gonna be a little bit of a logistical challenge. I would have gotten like more variety in flowers and um, I've never tried to make an arrangement in such a shallow dish, but I was like, that could be fun for us to attempt together. Something creative, something beautiful. I also, my sweet mom has been getting me fresh flowers for this room the whole time I've been here because she knows that they make me happy too. And I have this candle from Trader Joe's. If you ever see this, it's $3.99, I think. Vanilla pumpkin. It smells so good. It's not too overwhelmingly pumpkin, but let's do that. Let's do something happy. Let's try to make a flower arrangement. So here are the flowers she got these i think are stunning love these ranunculus ranunculus never been good at pronouncing things and then she just got some foliage but i asked her if i could steal these from we bought these last time i was here they're just like little pom-poms don't even know what they're called they remind me of horton here's a who to like add a third element to it we'll see how it goes and this is the dish see it's it's cool but it's a logistical challenge so let's cue a montage three two one Here's what we have so far. I feel like it's not enough for how wide this thing is. The only other flowers we have in the house, the color is like way too similar, but I might just flush it out with these. And mom's outside foraging for more greenery, but I think we need more flowers and not more greenery. So though the color palette isn't ideal, I'm trying to work with what we've got and I will definitely sacrifice <laughs> my flowers because I want this to be pretty, you know? Here's the final product. It's the best I could do given the resources. I like doing something in a wide mouth though. It's fun. You just need a lot more than you think you do, I think. But here you go, mom. I'm sure people would love Hi, to see you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> You're everyone's favorite. Oh my goodness. Well, you and I dad are why. probably tied. Y'all are sweet. <laughs> I love the flowers. Yay. You're so good. Well, like I said, natural. if you look at it from this far, uh, they're kind of dying. I'm gonna just perk a couple up. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's catch up. I'm in my dad's office, which I just realized is a very echoey, tall ceilings, all hard surfaces, but um, just wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update and a little bit of like a little honesty and um, I haven't shared where I'm living yet or anything like that. So the day I'm filming this is the day after my statement went live, the video where I explained to everyone what's really going on, what's happening. And um, I intended to start this vlog yesterday, but I spent the whole day just kind of being and taking it in and reading comments. And I was honestly so overwhelmed with how kind and understanding y'all have been. And I thank you for it so much because this has been something I've been kind of secretly quietly grieving and mourning for the last few months. So I was incredibly anxious about sharing, but having the video go live felt like a relief to finally share why I have been not myself and why I have been so sad. And um, I have had so many people reach out that say that they've gone through the same scenario and it's made me feel way less alone. And I just very much appreciate that. This is not at all what I wanted. This is not what I wanted to happen. and. I know a relationship is two people, but I, I did not feel like it was my, my actual choice. So grieving it quietly has been lonely and sharing now has felt really good to open up. Here comes Maxi, you wanna come sit in my lap? <laughs> Let me get him, just a second. <laughs> Hi, bub. Um, with that though, like I feel like I've done a lot of grieving and mourning and healing quietly and privately and I'm, at a point where I'm really ready to try to focus on being happy. 
and some days I'm very not successful, but I'm hoping that that is understood by people. I think if, if people see me trying really hard to be happy, they're gonna think I don't care, and that is not true at all. This is something very odd that I didn't expect, and I hope it's not taken out of context, um, but I'm really mourning and grieving the loss of being a wife. Like, I love being a wife. I felt very fulfilled in that role. Um, I really enjoy having someone that's not myself to think about and to take care of and to try to make them happy and joyful and care for them. And I know I can do that with friends and family, but it's just different with a spouse. There's so many layers. And like I said, little by little more over time, I'll open up to how I'm really feeling and how I'm really doing. But that's something that has been unexpected that I did not feel like I would grieve and I've very much been grieving that um but to share where I am moving I'm filming this on a Monday I think and on Thursday I move into my apartment I've signed a lease in Austin and I have lived in Austin before back in 2015 I love Austin I've always said it's the only city in Texas that really feels like me I love Texas don't get me wrong but Austin has kind of the foodie scene that I love and the more artistic scene and um, feels, you know, very open-minded and creative and accepting and um, there's a lot of nature and I'll be living right on a trail, um, which is nice. Gonna take this guy on more walks, hopefully. <laughs> I'm excited to show you all the apartment. I actually, it's a big building that has, gosh, hundreds of units and probably only six units have yards and it just so happened that available immediately as a unit with a yard for max. So I was like, this is this feels right. This feels like a sign. It's in my ideal area of town. I can walk to so much and I'm hopeful. I think I'm gonna thrive there. I'm gonna obviously have a lot to work through and be really sad, but I think I'm gonna thrive in Austin. It's kind of everything I ever wanted in terms of some of the LA culture, but then being close to my family and saving a shoot ton of money. <laughs> That's a whole nother discussion for another time I've been rambling on, but now that I'm completely financially independent, it'll be nice to live somewhere where living costs are cheaper um, and where taxes are cheaper. So. That's a lot of updates. That's probably enough for right now. I have something fun to do, which is open a few things I've ordered for the apartment. So maybe we can do a little unboxing. I plan to be in real clothes by now, but we're just going with this. I hope that's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So there's a few things I want to peek at. I think I showed you that I, in the last vlog, have so many boxes that have come in of essentials because like I mentioned earlier, I, Max, don't scratch the leather couch. I um, might have to go as long as six weeks without my stuff for the movers because they don't exactly let you know when they're gonna be arriving. Um, so I got essentials like bed, mattress, and then like plates, cups, um, you know, and then a couple decor things that I was really excited about. This is what I'm most excited about. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. This is going well. Look at that. You are so sweet, May. It's been a lot of good animal therapy over here between our cat keeper, May, who's just a cuddle bug, and Max. Oh, you're such a sweet, big, grizzly dog. Oh my word. But as I was saying, this is what I'm most excited to see. I have been eyeing these glasses for forever, and we actually went to a restaurant a few weeks ago when I was in Texas and they had these glasses and I was like, where did y'all get these? And they were like, Mexico. <laughs> I was like, that really narrows it down, thank you. But I just searched Mexican glassware and found like a glass wholesaler out of Mexico. Um, the website was like, it felt very wholesale, you know, not very like consumer, but they were great. They shipped immediately. The kindest customer service, I entered the wrong address and they fixed it for me. And I'm so excited to see them. Oh my gosh, they're perfect. Excuse me, excuse me. It's like a like slightly green tinted thick glass and I love how you can see the little bubbles. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, I'm in love. It's everything I'd ever hoped for. The next thing I wanna peek at, oh, wow, they're bigger than I thought, is I got two of these. Instead of um, bedside tables, I'm gonna do these on either side of the bed, or bedside lamps. Gonna do these sconces on either side. 
Oh, that's cool. I think these were just Wayfair. I really thought they were gonna be like half of this size, so I'm really pleased. These look so grand and expensive and they really weren't for lighting. I feel like lighting can get pricey. That's gonna be fun. I think that I'm gonna try to add architectural feel things. I might even try to do DIY <laughs> um, molding. I have big dreams. I'm gonna lean more into like a little bit of a girlier space since it's just mine. I can do whatever. You know, I've tried to do things pretty neutral for Brooke. Um, so that'll be fun. And I think that this will be fun. And then the last thing I really wanna look at is in here. Um, I left Brooke all of our plates and bowls and everything. And I had a set of four big plates and dinner bowls from our place, which I loved. And so I was like, I'll just rebuy more of those. So I got four more dinner plates, four more bowls, and then eight side plates, because I didn't have any of the side plates. And I want to see what they look like. Oh, I love these. Aren't these cool? Um, so those are a few of the many, many things that I just really wanted to look at. So thanks for looking at those with me. Um, I'm going to start getting ready putting on real clothes because today I'm going to go meet my mom at coffee after her thing that she's at and then I have therapy tonight oh that's another thing I wanted to mention is so many of y'all recommended therapy which thank you for that I've actually been in therapy all year once a week Brooke's been in therapy once to twice a week and then we were both in couples therapy so the Smith household had a lot of therapy <laughs> <laughs> three to four sessions a week as a household. Um, we tried to seek out as many professionals as we could during the last few months when things are really hard and then moving forward individually. And we know it's so important. So um, I've increased my therapy and it's been amazing. One hard thing about moving is now that I've left California, I can only be with my therapist for another 30 days per her license and then I have to find a new one, which is hard because building a relationship with a therapist is like, it's like kind of dating someone. You have to like go through a couple till you find a personality that fits and now she's learned everything about me. Starting over is hard, but I'm starting over everything. Starting over <laughs> everything. So therapy tonight, all that to say that. And tomorrow we might go antiquing because like I said, I'm leaning more into like the girly, slightly more antique vibes for the next place. And I just think it's so fun to look. So we might do that as something fun. Um, it'll be good. Sorry I haven't vlogged out of the house all day. I just kind of hit a wall and um, was catching up on work. But the thing I've been craving constantly for the last <laughs> few months is soup. Cause I'm 82 and I only want soup and sushi. Um, but mom has been experimenting with Italian soup and has been, you know, tweaking the recipe. And last time I was here, I mentioned that we got a really good soup that was basically an Italian soup, but also had dumplings in it. Those were actually polenta dumplings, but I was looking for polenta and I found this gluten-free biscuit, cheddar biscuit. We took this mix and we added green onion to it. Looks like this, this biscuit dough. And mom dropped it in the soup like dumplings. And it's, it's ready, yeah? Oh my yeah. gosh, it looks, it looks real. I hadn't looked at it yet, but look, those are like real, Dumplings. Oh, wow, what a dumpling hack. You literally just add water to that. So we're gonna taste it and see if it's, if it worked or not. This might be way too hot, but I wanted to try it. We're, we've been watching HGTV every night. It's a new habit. Very calming also, but I wanted to try a dumpling before we go and eat our soup in front of HGTV. How old am I? Okay, we're gonna try this. Hot, oh my gosh, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. mm. And your broth is exquisite. Oh, thank you. It's seasoned perfectly. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and that sausage is really good. We're gonna eat our soup and I'll see y'all tomorrow for antiquing. That'll be fun. That'll be a lot of fun. Good morning. It's the next day. I have a hair caught somewhere in one of my eyelashes. I hate that feeling where you can't find it. We are going to Fredericksburg which if you're familiar with the hill country area of Texas, people call it, there's a lot of little towns. Bernie's one of them, where I'm from, where we are. Um, and they're all little German settlement towns, I believe. There's Kerrville, Fredericksburg, Bernie, Comfort. Those are the big ones, I think. Yeah. And um, in my opinion, Fredericksburg is kind of the cutest, kind of the one that like tourists go to most, has the biggest main street, lots of antique shops. I am mostly looking for bedside tables. Might be fun to try to find antique art. I really wanna to try to find like a nice cool antique painting. Y'all know that's been on my list for a while. Maybe a little tiny desk. 
um, to have like a desk space, vanity space, but I also should probably get to the apartment first and see how much extra space I have. But that's kind of the plan. We're about to head out and uh, let's hit the road. We have arrived in Fredericksburg and we were passing this an antiques, uh, no, not an antique store, a thrift store. We were like, maybe let's just check that real quick. There's a ton of cars here. So maybe it's a really good thrift store that we don't know about. Hill Country Memorial Thrift Shop. Who knows, let's go find out. This whole set of all of these chairs is $400. And I'm not a fan of the fabric or the wheels, but this caning. Oh, if you just refinish that and took off the wheels, that would be so pretty. There's a painting back here that has ships on it that I think is pretty cool. I don't know if the colors are too muted, but it's $16 and it's big. I mean, for $16, it doesn't hurt to see if it fits into my space. Unfortunately, there's only one of these, but this reminds me so much of the glasses that I got from our place. They're this exact same like smoky glass and stackable. If there was a set of these, I'd be so tempted, but there's only one. Mom's gotten into candle making lately, which has been cool. And I just found this and it, I don't know what that means, 7,004, but it's like a nice thick ceramic. And I feel like if you made a candle out of that, it would look like, it would really look like $58 from like a austin -y handmade potter boutique, don't you think? For $2, just the bottom is so cool. We're at an antique mall and we just found this uh, chandelier. This part I think is part of it and hangs above it, which that's too much. But this is so in style right now with caning and the matte black details and those light, look at these lights inside of that. And it's only 145, I'm trying to convince mom to get it for above her dining table. And I'm sure it's not that hard to just hang the bottom part and not these top parts, you know? That's a find. The price is so good for that. Okay, a couple finds. I'm not gonna get this, but I just think it's so cool. Some people know this about me, some people don't, but the first college I went to was UT. And this is a um, yearbook from 1933. And look at all the like student headshots. And that's so cool. The one thing I found here that I can't pass up on, and sorry for this lighting, is this scoop, this old vintage wooden scoop for $10. I could just display it somehow, like near coffee beans, but the only practical thing I can think of is for dog food, which kind of feels like a sin. I think I have to get it and I'll just figure it out later because isn't it not so beautiful? This like raw wood. I wish we knew what year it was from. I was about to go check out, but then I found the most exciting thing. This little box. I was like, oh, this little box is so cute, but guess what it is? It's vintage dominoes and i love playing games and that would be so cute on a coffee table i love it We just had the best lunch and the best coffee. The lunch place was called Emma and Ollie. Mm -hmm. And it's like farm to table, so cute, such great food. They had gluten-free bread. And so I got a Reuben. I love sauerkraut. We are German. And then um, Sunday Supply is a new coffee shop out here. So cute. So cute. This place is getting so cute. I know. Yeah. I'm back home. I did not find a single thing on my list, but I'm very proud of the things we did find. I'm really excited to put them in my new apartment. And then mom did get that really cool chandelier that we saw. So I'm excited to see that eventually hanging in her house and it's getting dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, we're gonna eat more of that soup from last night, which I'm really looking forward to. 
and today was a good day. So thank you for coming along with us and allowing me to have a good day. It feels, it feels good to have a good day. I haven't had like a fully good day in a long time. So um, thank you again to Missouri for sponsoring this video. I still have on all my pieces, different earrings today. Like I said, huge sale coming soon. Details will be down below. My link will be down below. Keep your eye out, it's gonna be big. I love y'all with my whole heart. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you very soon for a moving vlog. Wow. <laughs> Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all.